right around here we should be facing into the wind. That'll make it the easiest to hover when you're into the wind. I'm going to take this, the cyclic. So the cyclic's going to be mine, the collective's going to be mine, and I want you to only worry about the pedals. Okay. Okay. And so what I want you to do is see that cone out there? Yeah. I want to just keep the, the nose of the helicopter pointed towards that cone. So you'll use those pedals to do that, and I want real nice smooth movements on those pedals, no jabs, okay? Yeah, so a little left pedal to get us back over there nice and smooth, and then get ready with right pedal to stop the left movement when you need to. There you go. Really nice. We're going to go ahead and make a pedal turn to the right. Okay. So we're going to slowly press on that right pedal. And we'll slow down the turn. Make sure you keep it nice and controlled just like you're doing here with the opposite pedal, right? So we're pressing right pedal. We'll slow it down with that left pedal. Yep, start slowing it down, nice and easy, yep, just slowing it down, nice and easy, nice and easy, no jabbing. Feel how that wind's really trying to turn us? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yep, so I'm slow it down with that left pedal, there you go. Nice and easy. There we go, now we've on 360 around. So did you feel that dynamic with the wind there? Right. So as soon as we turned the helicopter's nose to the right, what we did is we exposed the tail rotor to wind blowing straight into it. Makes it inefficient. So we've kind of got to dance on the pedals a little bit, right, where we're going a little bit of left, a little bit of right, a little bit of left, to kind of get it in control, right? Right. And then as we turn that tail completely into it, it's like a weather vane. Right, it wants to whip the helicopter back into the wind, so that's where that turn started really rapidly increasing to the right. And you had to press a lot of left pedal to slow it down. So anticipating those things is what's going to help us stay in control of the helicopter at all times. Right, what we're talking about is uh, things that contribute to loss of tail rotor effectiveness. And the key to not getting into loss of tail rotor effectiveness is being on top of those pedals, nice and smooth, not letting it get out of hand, right? Okay, so we're going to do another one.